Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be going over the early slate and the main slate on DraftKings for Wednesday, August 15th. Uh, there's four games t uh, today on the early slate and there is a 10 game night slate. I will be covering both. We'll be talking about the pitchers I like, the bats I like, the stacks, uh, BVP plays, going through each slate. Uh, but before we do get started guys, make sure you drop a like on the video. We we'll definitely appreciate it. Um, and if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, uh, be sure you do click that subscribe button down below before you get out of here. So that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Uh, but yeah, pitching on this early slate, we only have one stud that's over 10K or more. That's Jose Barrios. He is 10K exactly on DraftKings. He gets a matchup at home versus the Pirates. Um, I do like Barrios here. He is definitely my SP1. Uh, 10K is a very reasonable price tag for Barrios. We've seen this guy be 11, 12K this year. Uh, 10K is a very nice price. This is a somewhat decent matchup against the Pirates. Rios does have some upside here. He can strike some of these guys out, although there isn't a ton of strikeouts in this Pirates lineup. Uh, Brios is just that good of a pitcher to where he can get Ks here. I do like him at 10K. I think he has that 25, 30 point upside to where he can be worth this price. Makes a ton of sense if you do want to pay up for him. Uh, I think he is fadeable though. I'm not sure ownership wise if Brios is going to be the most popular pitcher, uh, but I think going with like a Rondon Archer pairing does make sense. Uh, Barrios does feel like a very safe option, though. I think I would pay up for him in cash. Tournaments, he has the upside, but if he's going to be high-owned, I could see wanting to fade him for maybe some other options. Uh, but Carlos Rodon, another guy that I absolutely love here. At 9,100 versus the Tigers, Rodon's just a guy that has a lot of upside. This guy can go out and strike batters out. Uh, he can get six, seven, eight strikeouts pretty much every game. He could easily get that amount today versus this Tigers team. Uh, that is better versus lefties than they are righties, but there's still a lot of strikeouts in this Tigers lineup, uh, and it's just not a good lineup in general. I think Rondon has upside here. Uh, he's been very consistent lately, been very solid for fantasy, been able to get strikeouts, been pitching deep into games as well, which is something we like to see. He's priced up to 9100 on DraftKings, but I think he honestly is worth that price, uh, especially given this matchup today. So I like going with Barrios and Rondon. I think going Archer Rondon in tournaments makes a ton of sense. Uh, Jordan Zimmerman, probably not going there. Kyle Hendricks, I don't know how much upside Hendricks really has. Really won't be on him. Junior Guerra in a matchup with the Cubs. I'm not sure if the upside's really there. And then Mike Leake and Brett Anderson are just not good pitchers, so I don't really want to play them. Uh, so pitching for me, I'm focusing on Barrios, Rendon, and Archer. Those are kind of the guys I would build around. But then with the bats, uh, as you can see, I went with sort of an Oakland stack today. I would say Oakland's probably in the best spot when it comes to hitting. They're getting to face Mike Leake, who is definitely a pitcher I want to pick on. Not a very good pitcher, so I like a lot of the lefties uh, from the athletics. You can go to the righties, though, as well. Uh, but I really like Chris Davis. If you can fit him in, like Jed Lowry at 4,200. You got Matt Olson at 3,900. I think these guys are good plays. Nick Martini, if you were to play cash at 3,600, leading off is a pretty good cash play, in my opinion. Just think Oakland makes the most sense on this slate for bats. They got a 4.9 implied run total, which is the highest on this four-game slate. Uh, I really like Matt Olson. really like Jed Lowry and Martini. Just an Oakland stack in general. I think it's where I'm going to really be looking to for bats today. Uh, but like tournaments, if we were looking to get some exposure in tournaments to so like a stack, I think the White Sox in tournaments could be playable here. Uh, versus Jordan Zimmerman. Zimmerman's definitely a pitcher I do want to pick on. Uh, there's a lot of power in this White Sox lineup. Even though there's a ton of strikeouts, I feel like Zimmerman's probably going to get some ownership today because of how much the White Sox strike out. Uh, but we've seen Zimmerman have a lot of blow-up potential this year. Guys like Palka, Abreu... Uh, Delmonico Sanchez, these guys could definitely give him some troubles. Yoan Moncada has a, a lot of power. Do like the White Sox as a tournament stack. Uh, obviously, you can, stack the you can stack Oakland as well, but do look to Oakland for cash game plays like Lowry, Olsen, Martini, uh, if you are playing cash today. Um, but yeah, guys, this is my five, or these are my five plays for this four-game early slate. Jose Barrios, Carlos Rendon, Matt Olsen, Jed Lowry, and Nick Martini. So I went over my stacks for the early slate. Uh, now let's talk about some BVP plays. Not a lot of them, but we'll go over them real quickly. Uh, Avisal Garcia gone 7 for 14 with a home run versus Jordan Zimmerman. Matt Davidson gone 4 for 10 with a home run versus Zimmerman. And Jose, Abreu, uh, Jose Abre Abreu 8 for 20 with a home run versus Jordan Zimmerman. Um, Travis Shaw 5 for 18 with 3 home runs versus Kyle Hendricks. And Eric Thames uh, 15, or 5 for 15 with a home run versus Hendricks. And then some of these athletics have hit... Mike Leakwell, Jonathan Lucroy, 20 for 44 with two home runs. Chris Davis, 6 for 19 with a home run. And Steven uh, Piscotti has gone 4 for 11 versus Mike Leak. Uh, so that's it for stacks, BVP plays, and my five plays for the early slate. 
Now let's go ahead and talk about this 10 game night slate. Talk about my five plays. I'll tell you why I chose these guys. We'll talk about some of the pitchers I like besides the two that I have. Uh, go over some of the other pitchers on the slate. Talk about the bats, the stacks we want to go to, and BVP as well. Uh, but just focusing on our stud pitchers on this night slate, we have Garrett Cole at 12-2 at home versus the Rockies, and we have Zach Wheeler at 10,800 in a matchup against the Orioles. Uh, I do like Garrett Cole today at 10-2, I think, or 12-2. I think he does have upside to pay off that price tag. But with the way Zach Wheeler has been pitching lately, uh, with the savings you get, and with Wheeler's matchup, I think he's a great play here. Versus the Orioles, uh, we know this Orioles team strikes out a lot. Versus right-handed pitching, uh, Zach Wheeler's been great so far, just as of late. Uh, he's been able to get a ton of strikeouts, seven, nine, eight strikeouts his last three games. Some of those matchups have been tough for strikeouts as well against the Braves. He managed to get nine Ks. Uh, I just think Wheeler has a lot of upside here. We don't have any Vegas lines on this game, uh, at least as I'm recording this video, but I would imagine the run total for the Orioles is going to be pretty low. I uh, really like Weaver here. just think he has a lot of upside. And those savings you get, that's $1,400 in savings going down from Cole to Wheeler, I think, especially in tournaments, uh, makes a lot of sense if you are trying to fit in some expensive bats. And then at SP2, I uh, love Kevin Gosman here. 8700 at home versus the Marlins. Uh, I think Kevin Gosman's going to be a guy we're going to be targeting a lot for the rest of the year. Just with the Braves, I feel like he's going to pitch very well. Uh, I know he struggled in his debut against the Mets. Uh, but then at home against the Brewers, Kevin Gosman looked great. Eight innings, only allowed six hits, one run, got eight strikeouts, 32 draftings points. Uh, like I said, we're going to see Gosman really pitch well with this team, I feel like, especially with him being in the National League. Gosman's going to be a guy we target uh, for the rest of the year. And I just really like him here versus this Marlins team that we know just doesn't have a good lineup. There are strikeouts in this lineup for Gosman. He's a heavy favorite at minus 230, only a 3.4 implied run total. For the Marlins today, uh, love Gosman here. I think he's a great play. 8700 is pretty expensive price, but he has the upside to pay off this price tag, uh, especially in this matchup. Fits very well with Zach Wheeler. I think if you play Gosman and Wheeler, that leaves you about 3900 remaining per player, which can easily be worked around today. But then looking at some of the other SP2s on this, um, or like in this mid-range that we possibly could consider, Nathan Avaldi probably going to be low owned today because. In his last start against the Orioles, a ton of people played him, including myself. Uh, he just got absolutely wrecked. Uh, so at 9,300 versus the Phillies, I do like Evaldi. I would rather play Gossman, but Evaldi, especially in tournaments, definitely has upside given this matchup. Uh, maybe like in the 7K, 6K range, if we want to look for plays here. You got Felix Pena, who isn't that great of a pitcher, but he's 6,600 and he's facing the Padres in Petco. Uh, you could possibly consider him if you're looking for a cheap value play. Dylan Bundy, I think, is a great value play in tournaments at 6,500. Uh, Bundy's definitely a risky play. You never know what you're going to get from him, but for Bundy to be this cheap versus a Mets team that's not good, that strikes out a lot, do really like Bundy as a cheap option in tournaments. If you want to go with, like, Gossman and Bundy, uh, you could absolutely stack any team you want. That's going to leave you a ton of salary for bats. So you could stack the Indians, who I think are going to be a good stack today. Uh, Dylan Bundy, probably my favorite value option at 6,500, especially if you're looking for a tournament play. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for value pitchers, for pitchers in general. Now let's talk about the bats. Uh, I do love the Indians today. It's hard to fit in the Jose Ramirez, the Lindors, if you pay up for pitchers. So we're going to have to look to the cheaper guys. Yonder Alonso at 4,400. Really like here at first base uh, versus Robert Stevenson. This is definitely a guy we're going to want to pick on today. The Indians have a 5.5 implied run total. They're in a great hitter's park and great American ballpark. These, jo these guys are just such good plays today. Uh, you know to play the top three. Lindor, Brantley, Ramirez, but if you got to find value, you've got it with the 4 through 8, Alonzo, Cabrera, Kipnis. These guys are relatively cheap. You can fit them in with your expensive pitchers. Uh, so that's kind of how I landed on Alonzo and Melky Cabrera, who have surprisingly been hitting the ball pretty well as of late. And then sort of a cheap outfielder that I like as a one-off uh, is Curtis Granderson at 4K versus Burt Smith. Uh, Burt Smith is another pitcher that I just don't think is very good. It's a pitcher we're definitely going to want to pick on. I do like the Blue Jays here. Not sure if I'm going to be full stacking the Blue Jays. Uh, but the top of that lineup, the guys that have upside, Granderson, even Devon Travis has been good this year, Smoke, Grichik, those are the guys I'm really looking to, especially Grandis, uh, Granderson at 4K leading off. Uh, he's been good versus the righties this year. He's shown some power with 10 home runs. Just think he's a great play in general, especially if you're looking for a cheap outfielder as a one-off versus Burt Smith. I really like him in this spot. Uh, but yeah, guys, these are my five plays. For the 10-game night slate, Zach Wheeler, Kevin Gosman, Yonder Alonso, 
uh, Curtis Granderson and Melky Cabrera. Now we'll quickly go over the stacks and BVP plays on this 10-game night slate. Uh, so the stacks that I really like are definitely the Indians. Number one, it's not really close. If you can fit the Indians in, if you go cheap with Bundy at pitcher, definitely like to stack the Indians today. Do like the Braves here versus Urena uh, in a good hitter's park in SunTrust. Urena's probably going to struggle today. You want the lefties against him. Obviously, Acuna's been hotter than anybody, so you can play Acuna. But Ozzy Albies, Freeman, Marquecas, Camargo, and Ciarte, I really like those guys, that two through six. But obviously, if you do stack the Braves today, don't leave Acuna out of your stacks. Dude's just been raking. Uh, but then other teams, many stacks of the Blue Jays I think is fine today. That one through four, one through T, uh, one through three, if you want to go like two, three, four, whatever. Definitely like the Blue Jays. Not as very or not very high on the bottom of the order, but the top I do like versus Burt Smith. And I think that is it for stacks today, guys. Now let's quickly go over some of the BVP plays on this 10-game night slate. Starting off with Kevin Kiermaier, he's gone 3 for 11 versus Luis Sessa. Freddie Freeman gone 8 for 20 with two home runs versus Urena. Uh, Kurt Suzuki, 2 for 10, does have a home run versus Urena. And Ender and Ciarte, 7 for 20 with a home run. Ian Desmond, 3 for 12 with a home run versus Garrett Cole. And Nolan Arenado, 6 for 14 with two home runs versus Garrett Cole. Uh, Alcides Escobar, 5 for 10 versus Marco Estrada. Brian Dozier, 5 for 16 with a home run versus Derek Holland. And then Buster Posey, 10 for 31 with the home run versus Hinjin Ryu and Hunter Pence. Also hit Ryu well, 12 for 29. So yeah, guys, that's it for BVP. Uh, I think that's it for Stacks, and that is it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the video, and hopefully it helped you. Um, if you did enjoy, just make sure you click that like button before you get out of here. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can always hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT, or feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Definitely appreciate it, and good luck tonight on both slates. Peace.